Hey, Cancer. What's up, Cancer? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. I want every guy to have Cancer in your chart. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all you Cancers out there. But if it does, show Fire some love, y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, you already know fireintuition.com. Alrighty? So, let's hop in. Let's see what's going on. If you can, still going to start with some spirit messages. Let's see. Letting go. Releasing farewells. It's saying that you need to let go and be yourself and focus on yourself right now, Cancer. That's what these two cards mean. Yeah. It's saying that you guys need to let go and release and focus on yourself right now. You guys have something to celebrate. You guys need to trust the journey. Something is coming into your life unexpected. There can also be some secrets revealed to you guys. All right. But if it's not secrets that are being revealed to you, then it's just like you guys are, you know, needing to... Well, like expect the unexpected. So something is going to turn out to be better than you thought it was going to be. Or something is going to turn out to be like really good. And you guys are needing to expect the unexpected. Or just know that you're walking the right path. You're doing the right thing. But needing to let go. You need to distance yourself or separate yourself from somebody. Discord. Separate. Detach from somebody. Okay. Um, it could be a person, place, or a thing. Alrighty. So let's see what's going on, Cancer. Let's look into your love life. for cancer right, let's see what does cancer need to know me when it comes to their love life so in this reading i'm gonna look at your person's feelings their intentions and what they want and need from you all right and we'll mix in some oracle cards as well so let's see how does cancer's person feel towards them cancer how does your person feel towards you So your person may feel like they've made the right decision. Mm -hmm. This could be a new love right here. Um, we have the two of wands. This could be somebody new that just crossed your path. All right, somebody new that you're talking to, King of Swords. Could be an air, fire, or a water sign. But a lot of communication coming in. All right, from this person. what's going on with this king of swords so you got the will of fortune you got the eight of swords it's whoever this is is that they okay like they want to see things move for, forward could be a Sagittarius but they're trying not to overthink things all right um I will say the person that you guys are dealing with is getting over a, a situation though we have the five of cups nine of wands reverse the king of cups reverse so they could be getting over a Scorpio or maybe you're getting over a Scorpio all right or maybe you guys have talked to this person about some type of past relationship um, and also this person just feeling like they never thought that they were going to move on and go towards new love or maybe that's just how you guys feel like you're like okay you know maybe you're waiting for this you're like mm, when is the new love coming in we have the six of swords so I definitely see you guys moving on and moving forward from a past situation or they are one of you guys are definitely moving on from the past so that does look good um, it seems like that is something that you guys have already talked about or you know maybe it came up in conversation or you know, you guys are just talking about your exes or something like that. But um, this person definitely wants to continue to get to know you. They definitely feel like they've made the right choice. Um, there's just some healing here. Somebody is still kind of in their feelings. Somebody is trying not to overthink the situation between the two of you guys. And somebody is also hoping that this will move forward.
Give me one second, Cancer. Sorry, Cancer. All right, so let's see what's going on with Cancer. So we have, I'm giving my dreams are coming true vibes. So maybe your dreams are coming true with this person. You know, the happiness is because I'm single. So some of you guys could be single and happy and just met this person. You know, they're making you feel even better. Mm, we got a feeling. Let's see. This is only for a short time. So while it lasts, love me, sex me, and have fun with me. I know we just hung up, but I miss you already. So somebody could be wanting a fling that may turn into more. Happy family. Okay, so it looks like it was supposed to be a fling, but they falling for you. We got situation shit. Mm, okay. Oh, I see in a relationship and miserable. So now it's making sense. Okay. They're leaving somebody. Not for you though, but okay. What I meant to say, Cancer, is like they were leaving the relationship regardless. But they've met you and now they really want to leave. Okay? So, yeah. Um Yes, so that is that's what that is. Let's look at their intentions. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't supposed to be serious, but they're giving in to something that they, you know, I'm not going to say that they didn't want, but a situation that they didn't want to get themselves into. And now it's like, they don't want to look back anymore. They feel like the grass is greener with you. And they're just like, oh, my other relationship is sorry, sad, and miserable. And that's why I don't want to be in that situation. Let's see, three wands. Yeah, they're falling for you. They are falling for you. They like the bond and the connection, the chemistry. Could be a Leo. Three of Cups, dating card. Yep, y'all having fun, going out for drinks, doing stuff. But I still feel like, you know, they're not trying to move too fast, which is good. But they just see themselves with you, um, Cancer. They see this going somewhere. They definitely do. Um... Yeah, they were kind of making up excuses and not telling you guys certain things at first, um, because I feel like they didn't want to confuse you or like, like, it's like they don't want to be in a bad situation with you. And this actually is a really good person. They're showing up as the emperor. It could be Aries, Virgo, Gemini. But this is they're showing up as a good person. Like somebody that is actually a good person. But they are in a miserable situation. Yeah, the hermit. It could be Virgo or Aries. But this is somebody that's older, wise, mature. You know, they're just in like a little situation. They don't know what they're going to do. But, but they didn't know what they were going to do. But it's like now they met you. And they're just like, yeah, let me get out of this situation. This is not something I really want to be in. They're starting to like you. They're starting to fall for you guys. So... That's why I said in the beginning, like, they like the communication. There's something that is something about you, you know. And even though they were looking for a fling or a good time or something to take, you know, their mind off of the other situation, now they're really like, yeah, no. So let's see what they want from you. Nothing really. They just want your time and your attention. They want to spend time with you, talk to you. Um, but they do feel like you're talking to other people though. Let's see, why is the seven of swords here? Or they could just feel like you're not being honest about certain things with the seven of swords in reverse. Let's see, why is the seven of swords in reverse? Seven of swords in reverse, let's see. Oh. Well, I mean, this is, oh wow, I see y'all look, Emperor and Empress. So they feel like you like them more than what you're letting on. And they're cool with that, but they're just like, they feel like there's something that you're not being honest about or not communicating. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're not letting them know how you feel. Mm -mm. I feel like you can see yourself with this person, Cancer, but I feel like you're not letting this person know how you feel right now. I feel like either it's too soon or you just like. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, Cancer.
We got sweet songs. Soulmates often use music and songs as a telepathic aid in order to share spiritual messages and emotions with each other. So you guys can already have like a song that y'all both like. Or this person has been sending you songs, you know. Um, and that can be their way of letting you know how they feel. Or maybe you guys have been doing this cancer. We have ready for love. You've been understandab and understandably guarded. Scared of being hurt again. But you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. So you guys are ready for love. We have make a move. The time is now. Someone is planning to take action. Or it's time for you to make the move. And then we got deeper intimacy. The feelings of emotional closeness and love allow you to feel safe. Desired and more connected to your partner. So there's going to be deeper intimacy here. Like we like things are going to, you know, deepen and change. You know, they're going to make their move. They're ready for love. They're going to shoot their shot. But I said, y'all can be sending each other songs and all that type of stuff. So, yes. Okay. Um, Let's see. All right, so what they need from you. Mm, they might be asking for a lot, though. Well, it's not bad, but it's like what they need from you is like they need somebody that's going like that is a friend to them somebody that is understanding when it comes to their situation because they're going through an ending they're going through something they have the five of cups five of pentacles so it's like they need a friend or somebody that's supportive and understands like you know their situation and what they're going through and there may be times when they're not able to give you more there may be times that they give you a little less there may be times where you know they're emotional they're in their feelings and maybe times where it feels like it's unre unrequited love and they don't like you but that's not the case um yeah, because this is new to them. And they want to be fair and honest with you. And they want to do things the right way. And they do want to move forward with you. But it's a process for them. See, the five of cups to the tower. This can be a breakup moving out. This can be a divorce. Um, You know, just the fact that they're separating or anything with somebody. I feel like they're going through a lot, even financially for some of you guys. You have the king of pentacles in reverse. It's going to affect them financially. They're going to be honest with you about a lot of things. See, the high priest is here, ace of swords. But I just also feel like at times they're going to be like very scattered and kind of like all over the place and maybe a little upset some days, sad some days, happy some days. So it's like I said, it's a process with them. Judgment in reverse. Mm, I feel like they don't want you to like compare them to other people or the past um, because they have judgment in reverse. But you guys are, you guys may tell them like, look, I've been there, done that. And I'm not trying to hold on to someone that is stuck or going through something. Yeah, like I'm not trying to be in the middle of what you got going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it just seems like you guys went through this in the past and it just it made you guys very upset. It hurt you guys. It put you through a lot trying to be understanding to somebody's situation or allowing somebody to put you second or last. And it seems like that is not something that you're willing to do. So I feel like at times there will be times in this situation where you guys are going to be both frustrated with each other or when you're frustrated, they're not or vice versa. Because I do see, like, you're just like, look, I didn't sign up for this shit, you know? Um, but remember I said it's, it's starting out as, like, a little fling, a little situation. And y'all both liking each other. And I feel like it's just going to kind of, like, go from there. Okay, so there can be a Scorpio involved. We have the Scorpio card fly right out. So a Scorpio could be um, significant or involved. All right, we have exclusive. Yeah, see, I told you there's somebody that wants to be exclusive with you. But it's like pins and needles. They're walking on pins and needles. And you kind of feel like this is the same old story like everybody else, the past people you dated. And that's probably why you feel like this. I wish I could have done things differently. We have twin flame and beginning. So it's like this person is going to feel bad or kind of feels like, damn, like, you know, I want to move forward with you. But maybe I should have just waited until everything was done before we got closer but I honestly kind of feel like cancer is something that just happened and it's kind of out of, I'm not going to say out of your hands, but I feel like it's something that's just going to go by like really fast. Like how everything is happening and unfolding, I feel like it's going to be like boom, real fast. 
we have text me call me look we have the twin flame card here twice so for some of you guys this is a twin flame connection we have restraints we have a leo so there can be a leo involved i think about you all the time we have love sick yeah and i told you they're gonna be hot and cold and obsessed with you because this person wants to be with you seriously but like i said it's just like they just got a little situation going on so so yeah so let's see all right let's see we have a gaia so wisdom knowledge spiritual understanding number five The Gaia card is the most powerful card in this deck. It shows that you have a deep spiritual connection to the earth and the deep spiritual understanding of life. Gaia, the earth mother, thanks you for the love and consideration you show towards her and the love you have for all loving things. She encourages you to gently and lovingly share your wisdom and knowledge of the earth with others. Perhaps you may join with like-minded souls to share your message of love or you may choose to do practical things to help the earth restore her balance and well-being. Yet this is not a call to preach to others. You are a beacon of light. Remain that way. Share your knowledge and wisdom only with those that are ready to hear it. And do not fear the earth changes that are taking place. For all is evolving and unfolding as it should. All the earth needs is a little more love. All right. So the affirmation for this card says, I am in communion with Mother Earth. I hear her call. I am grateful for her love and share her wisdom with others. I am a beacon of light, all evolves and unfolds through love. All right. So that is a really good message. I definitely love it. Like I said, some of you guys are definitely in a twin flame connection here. Um, and probably don't even realize it. Okay. Or maybe you do know this is your person or your twin. But yeah, this is your reading, guys. That's what I have for you. Okay. Definitely send you guys lots of love. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys love to book, you already know fireintuition.com. Alrighty. Bye, Cancer.